Hi, hope everybody is um, enjoying their spontaneous April vacation. Um, it's a really tough time right now. It's going to be really hard for students. It's going to be really hard for teachers um, to get through the next couple weeks and get used to digital learning and what this is going to look like. Um, we're all working really hard to try and make this as seamless of a transition for you as it is for us. Um, so it's going to take a lot of work on everybody's end. This is real school. This is going to be real school. It's just going to be online. It's going to take more self-made motivation on your part um, and more kind of pushing through it on your end. Um, because you are going to be held accountable for your end of the schoolwork. Um, I'm sure you've heard this coming from any angle, but take time for yourself, for your mental health. That's Flynn and this is Lucy, just saying hi. Um, but during these next couple of weeks, it's really important that you are adaptable, that you are flexible, that you maintain open communication with each other and with teachers. Um, social distancing doesn't mean that you don't need to talk to each other and talk to me. Um, it, it, it is required to have a physical distance between each other, but there doesn't need to be a social distance. Because this is school, deadlines are gonna be real. We are going to be posting due dates. Um, our class is, as of now, going to be meeting every Monday and every Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And I will have office hours on Friday by appointment or during other times in, in really any other day that works for your schedule and mine. Um, if you email me with questions, I will email with you with answers that day. Um, and if you need extra help and you need to have a Google Meet with me so we can kind of go through whatever questions it is you're having, we can do that as well. Everything is going to pretty much be online. Um, so that is going to be a challenge for me. Um, so it's probably going to be a challenge for some of you. Um, what else do I have? A lot of you probably have parents working from home leave them alone let them work help out around the house help out with your siblings um cook yourselves breakfast cook yourself lunch if they're working from home they're probably really working um so i know it's going to be hard to not bug people are at home i know you're probably going to get irritated with people in your house there's going to be a lot of obstacles to try and overcome in the next couple of weeks hopefully we get back to school and this is just a couple of weeks long um but they're there is a chance that this is going to be longer than a couple weeks um, so to get used to. Anyway, that was my entrance spiel. If you've made it this far, there is going to be a question um, in one of the Google Forms that you're going to have to answer and ask for a passcode. My passcode is Lucy. This is Lucy. Lucy, say hi. Okay, so today's Monday. It's March 23rd. Um, your assignments for today. You can do them right now. You can probably finish the majority of it right now, um, but they are gonna be due on Wednesday, March 25th at 10 a.m. at the start of our next class. So your assignments are all gonna be linked right here in Google Classroom. You're gonna be reading through chapter 3.1. We did a little bit of the notes together in class. Um, so you're gonna re be reading 3.1 if you have access to um, accessing the online textbook. There, I linked in pictures of the pages so you have access to them. Um, I also want you reading through the slides, slides one through 20, the Google slides that are just posted in classroom already. Uh, we've gone through some of them, but just re-go through the, the ones that we have gone through. Keep an eye out for any extra notes that I've added in or videos that are linked. If the video is linked, I want you watching that video. Um, and then you're gonna complete the day one workbook and forms. Again, the password in that forms is Lucy, after Lucy. Um, all lowercase l-u-c-y lucy your homework is going to be to go outside hopefully you've been going outside a lot um, but you're going to identify five objects they can be moving or they can be stationary and for all five objects you're going to draw a free body diagram with the labeled forces of the forces that are acting on that object if you have questions or comments concerns whatever please please feel free to reach out to me 
Um, I'm going to be checking my email a lot. So you can email me. Um, if you want to set up a Google, a Google Meet, we can set up a time that we can FaceTime chat to kind of go through things. I've got a whiteboard. I can do out some of the practice problems. If you are struggling, you are not struggling alone. Um, maybe a couple people want to have Google Meet together and we can kind of all work through the problems. But anyway, this is what it is for a little bit. So hopefully we get back soon. Um, if not, we will be communicating and we will make this work. Flynn, 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 come say goodbye. Come here. Flynn, my best friend. Oh, love.